Welcome back, everyone. As promised, we are going to find out what it's like to work on Amazon Madrid Tech and how is the vibe there, like in a reality show, but better. In this A Day in the Live session, we will be accompanied by Ana Lira Quintero, Software Development Manager, and Maria Jose Perez Perez, Software Development Engineer, both from the Books Tech team. And also, uh, Tia Gold Balsami, Software Development Manager, and Carlos Fernandez, Software Development Engineer from the Amazon Business Team. So, let's start with Tia. If you can turn the video on, please, Tia. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so, um, Tia, how do you find leading a multicultural team working across multiple geographies? We were talking about that uh, a bit uh, with Sheriff. Uh, he was saying, uh, put an example of, uh, of a team with um, eight people, 80 people and 20 different nationalities, I think. So I guess that that's a challenge, right? Yeah, so as of uh, the last count, as of last Monday, I think we have about 30 different nationalities. Wow. Uh, and <laughs> in my team uh, alone, which is about 25 people, we have 14 different nationalities if you count the double nationalities. So that's quite a spread in Madrid. And as you pointed out, one of the things I want to call out is like, I've worked across three different sites at Amazon. Uh, Seattle, I started in Seattle, I had a stint in Berlin, and now I'm in Madrid. So I'm also multicultural because I worked across uh, these locations. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do want to call out at the end of the day, Amazon is Amazon. Uh, we hold our leadership principles very dear to our heart and we actually follow it to the T. Uh, but we do have our unique, uh, you know, behavior and unique things across the different sites. Uh, for example, in Seattle, it was always about like, you know, the week, the Friday evening parties uh, with, the, with the beer keg. Uh, ah. in Madrid, it's almost always about like the relaxed lunches on like, you know, when we have a new hire or like on some thir random Thursdays. In Berlin, it was more about activities. Like, you know, we would do like, you know, 10K runs together as a team. So uh, it's, it, you know, it's kind of like the same, but different. And how do you keep things fun if now in, in, during the COVID uh, pandemic? <laughs> it, it's not easy because, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 you know, meeting people in person uh, is very different. But we were trying, and I think one of the things that we do in our team, um, uh, which, you know, we are also trying to follow across, across the organization because it's working wonderfully well, is like we have this thing called as a virtual happy hour. We try to do it at least once every two weeks, sometimes uh, at the worst case, once a month. And what we do is we gather around, we all turn our cameras on, grab a drink of our choice, coffee, beer, wine, whatever, whatever, whatever. And Amazon like. pays for it, right? Uh, so? Amazon pays for the beer. Yes, ah. of course, yes, <laughs> <laughs> of course. And uh, the only rule we have is we don't talk about work. Uh, we talk about like, you know, anything we want to do, anything that has happened. And uh, we also play some games and we played a game of trivia the last time. It was last of fun. The only rule was that whoever lost, who didn't answer the question has to take a drink. And it was a lot of fun. And we usually schedule them for like an hour. We end up spending like two hours, three hours. Wow. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we, we are actually, we were uh, seeing, I think people can see them as well, a few pictures of you. I guess one is with, is with, is with your team and then uh, it's two in different places, uh, reflecting yes. how much you travel. <laughs> so, yeah. I think one of the things uh, I think maybe a tiny bit more interesting about me is that uh, I've now lived in four different countries uh, because I was born in India. I, I'm American and I've worked for Amazon in Berlin and Madrid. And I've also traveled to 144 countries around the world. It's just like something I'm very passionate about uh, because uh, that exposes me to a lot of cultures, a lot of things. Uh, it gives you an open mind. And I'm very, very blessed and lucky to be at Amazon, uh, to be exposed to such a wide variety of things. And uh, because it gives uh, you a different take on everything you do from a day-to-day -day basis, right? Uh, a different is. viewpoint, a different way of thinking. And that's that's a fantastic. And that's, uh, that's something I'm very, very thankful that I have that have sounds, had the opportunity here. Sounds really awesome. I, I, I envy you actually. I want to travel as much as you do. Um, so um, my, my, my very last question, I think we, we well, we are running out of time as, actually, but perhaps you could answer quickly, like what is a normal day for you at Amazon Madrid Tech? Uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, on a good on a good day, it like you know, I would walk in, uh, I get to meet the team, which kind of always lights up my day. Uh, we have our standups, uh, which is usually where we test our share updates. Uh, we and then we talk about the critical projects, and most of the time, uh, you know, there's always some regular meetings with my leadership um, and partners. Uh, but other time, I, I personally, for me, I spend most of my time uh, uh, doing one-on-ones with my team, understanding what they're doing. Uh, helping them unblock and, you know, um, just build cool things at Amazon. Uh huh. Build cool things. Sounds, sounds cool. Really cool. So thank you so much, Tia. Uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you now. And uh, I'd like to present now or welcome Anna. Anna, can you please turn on your camera? Anna Lira? Anna Lira Quintero. Uh, how are you, Anna? Um, I think we cannot hear you, or at least yeah, I can. Okay, are... now. Yeah, now we can. How are you hear doing, you. Esther? Uh, very well, thank you. Um, I was, I was, I was wondering, uh, thinking about you and, and how many people you do you, you manage. So, um, because I'm aware you are in charge of a big team at Amazon, right? So, what what challenges uh, do you face um, as a as a leader? Well. Working with big teams is actually fun. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, more more than challenges, what it, it gives you is opportunities to to embrace uh, really interesting projects and initiatives. Um, I think um, uh, from from what I have seen from other leaders at Amazon that actually uh, manage. Uh, bigger teams and 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 and, and uh, big orgs, uh, they, their authority or or their leadership is uh, more than based on a given vertical position or a job title. is more based on the deep knowledge they have. I'm, I'm, I'm referring here um, directors and senior managers uh, uh, at Amazon. Uh, they really have a deep knowledge uh, about what each team does, and and they they not only provide business and and strategic vision to a team, they have a deep technical knowledge. So they really have uh, a deep involvement in technical decisions and discussions, and contribute with all their 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 guidance. Another thing that from, uh, I, I I see in 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 in, in leaders at, at Amazon um, is that they they have a, 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 a a history of contribution inside the company. They they have uh, brought a lot of innovation or open new business, develop new products. So they they lead. They are like a reference for the rest of us, and they lead by setting the example, um, which creates an environment where we really trust in them. Uh, it's a it's an environment where you know it's it's very participative. Everybody brings the, their ideas to the table, and they are aware that. Uh, uh, they are going to be properly uh, guided and 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 considering when when taking decisions. Uh -huh, that sounds really good. Um, I was also wondering how is work life balance for an Amazon leader. Well, that one is kind of tough for me mm. uh, because I'm I'm a mom of as you can see in the picture I'm a mom of six kids. So I'm not going to say that it's easy, uh, mm. but it's completely possible. I, I think uh, work-life balance, uh, working in tech, one of the things is that you, and especially at Amazon, where we are global teams and uh, we are, in fact, even before COVID, we were very used to work from home. We have a lot of flexibility options. So I, I think uh, you, you just have to, you know, not compare to others or, or look what others are doing. It's everybody has their own personal circumstances and, 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 and career goals. Uh, I think it's just a matter of focusing on that, taking advantage of, of all the flexibility opportunities uh, that you have. Of course, in order to achieve work-life balance, I think one critical thing and, and where equality and inclusion actually starts is at home. Um, having the proper you know, support from all the family members and actually in that I bring in also the kids like uh, and, and creating at home this environment where we support each other in what you are passionate about. Uh, it, not only parents, but also kids. Uh, is super important. For example, you don't see them here, but they are probably over there 
uh, waiting for me to finish because they, they knew that I was super excited to, to talk today. Uh, and, and, and that's the way they, they, they are supporting me right now. Ah, uh, that's so, yeah, I think I, th I think it's uh, just a matter of, in fact, it's, it's really, uh, you have a lot of, and especially in Amazon, you have a lot of flexibility opportunities. Good, very good. Um, you were talking about equality, and uh, well, I, I I don't know if one of your kids is is a girl or 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 they are all boys, but um, you are a woman and you're a woman in tech, and and these days it's like a hot topic, right? The the lack of women in tech. Um, so what is your view about that? Well, as you mentioned, like uh, today we are trendy, so we should take uh, at, <laughs> at that opportunity that we have right now. I, I, I think, well, as Tia was mentioning before, that the environment in Amazon is super diverse, super inclusive. So we encourage uh, woman participation a lot. And, and, and another thing that Amazon also gives a lot is um, guidance and trainings about how to handle bias. Not only bias in others, but also bias in, in ourselves. I think sometimes as women, we, we put barriers that really don't exist and that are not there at all. Um, uh, and, and having this multicultural environment, I think it's it's also a great uh, way to, to, to get included and, and to learn from, from others. Uh, very easily like it's it's a it's a natural thing I think in here it's not uh, for us it's our day-to-day -day life uh, if you can see in the picture we also have very diverse uh, characters and, and personalities so it's it's mm -hmm. uh, it's great uh, another oh. thing I, I think also Amazon has a lot of initiative I, I I'm also putting there an example for example to actually participate and Briefly, encourage it. because we don't have a lot of time <laughs> To, to help uh, to also participate in, in volunteering activities to encourage uh, participation of women in, in tech. Mm, okay, that's very important, I think. Um, so I'm sorry, Anna, I've looked to, to be able to ask more questions, but we are running out of time. So uh, I'm going to say you goodbye and I'm going to welcome now to another woman in tech, uh, Maria Jose Perez. Maria Jose, can you please turn on your camera? Hello. Hi. Hello. So, um, Maria, Maria Jose, uh, we are all eager to know what is the two pizza team? Yeah, yeah, good question. So, uh, <laughs> this is uh, how we organize technical teams at Amazon. Um, the idea is to have small and independent teams that work on technical stuff. Now, uh, where the name comes from, right? Uh, so we define uh, the name of the team based on how many pizzas you need to feed the team. So <laughs> trans translating this idea into a number, it means that uh, there are like six to 10 people teams. It's a, it's a cross-functional team, not a, a group of engineers, but product managers, uh, technical managers, the engineer. And depending on the nature of the team, uh, UX designer, technical program managers, all these people embedded in the same team. So the idea is to have the set of people necessary to work on an initiative and deliver it to our customers. And I can I can see in your pictures that you use the pizza cardboard to dress yourselves as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have a lot of fun, and um, yeah, we are always doing parties, and yeah, that's a uh, uh, a picture of it. <laughs> that's fun. So, um, what else is peculiar about Amazon culture? Um, yeah, well, we we have this thing called leadership principles. Uh, we have four teams. And yeah, these are the things that we believe at Amazon. And we use them in our decision making uh, at team level, organization level, and, and across the company. Uh, for instance, um, customer obsession is one of our leadership principles. It means uh, working from the customer backwards. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean, customer obsession, uh, as an engineer? Um, so, I don't write a line of code till I don't understand who is uh, the customer. So the team meets together. We talk about who is the customer. Uh, we think about the problem that we are trying to solve and also the benefits that uh, it will bring uh, to them. So as an engineer, you can think about the, the most amazing technology uh, to build something fancy. 
but if you don't solve the customer needs, you don't exist. Um, another example of uh, yeah, customer obsession for an engineer uh, is about uh, setting the right priorities on a project, or if you are the service owner, having good um, monitors, alarms, and dashboards. Uh, so you can quickly identify an issue uh, in the website and fix it as soon as possible to, to reduce the customer impact. Ah, okay, nice. Um, so we, we are still running out of time. So I'm sorry, uh, Marie Jose, uh, that was really interesting, but now I have to say goodbye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bye bye, Maria Jose. Um, finally, we will have, or we have here, Carlos. Carlos, please. Okay, hello. Hi, everyone. Um, so, I'd like to know how's <laughs> career growth at Amazon? Um, so, I think um, something important to mention in Amazon that is a kind of different than other companies that you can kind of decide the role that you want to play. So there are different roles such as pure software development. There's a um, acting uh, or being software uh, development managers. There are also technical program managers, product managers, and you can switch careers anytime, right? So I know people that move from being an SD into turning into a software development manager and or technical program managers. And even I know people that did the other way, uh, people that went from software development engineer to manage team, then go back to uh, Software development because I really like that, right? So um, I think uh, my personal experience in Amazon. This is uh, this is like it's about my journey. So uh, and I'm about to turn ten years in the company. So I think of uh, career development as a self scaling process. So when you are kind of a new hire or you are kind of a new at the company, you work in a very small component or a component that you will work with some guidance and you can code, deliver to production and everything works. And as you get more seniority, as you acquire more skills, you are in charge of uh, producing uh, more complex solutions and solve more complex problems for our customers. So that's how you grow in Amazon, uh, by acquiring skills and also sharing those skills with others. It's very important for us, uh, mentoring people, getting mentor, uh, and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, trainings, trainings for everyone. So I, I can say that uh, I don't have enough time to do as much training as I would like, but there are kind of opportunities to focus on your area of interest. There's never enough time to do as much training as, as we will we'll all like. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I guess I know what, where you're going to answer to my next question uh, that has, be, uh, has to have a sure answer. Uh, but I wanted to know, I was wondering, how are your relationships with your bosses and colleagues, is it very hierarchical? No, actually it's, it's very horizontal. So uh, I think uh, uh, something important in Amazon is that we use data every time. So I think you can, uh, it doesn't matter if you are a, re a recent hire or, or like uh, you have been 10 years in Amazon, if you have data that to back your proposal or to back your um solution uh everyone will will uh take you into account so that's why we i can go talk to my director i actually have one ones with them uh i can talk to my product managers with my technical program managers so it's kind of a, if you want to talk to anyone you, you can just go and uh and uh, send an email or just open a chat with them oh that everything sounds Awesome. Uh, so thank you so much, Carlos. Um, okay. 